what does rain do to Augusta National? Well, it's pretty dry right now. And so I can tell you, I mean, with the sub air system they have underneath the pretty much the entire golf course there, um, you know, it's looking like they're going to get maybe up to an inch. It's looking like, but the weather, the rest of the week looks absolutely perfect. So it's pretty dry right now, obviously um, depending on how many holes they play and the severity of the rain tomorrow. Um, it, you know, you give soft conditions like you do. It doesn't matter. I say this all the time. It doesn't matter where you play. You give the best players in the world, soft conditions, the golf course turns into a dartboard and it makes any difficult golf course easy for these guys. But the exciting part of it is that I like looking at the forecast ahead. It looks dry. It's going to get windy on Friday. Saturday and Sunday should be firm and fast the way that we'd like to see Augusta National. So I think we're going to see kind of like a lot of times you're going to see two different golf tournaments here. You're going to see the Thursday, Friday, a little bit softer. And then that weekend, it's going to get very, very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think what Lego said is, is bang on. I think uh, they know how to dry the golf course. It, it, you know, an inch of rain is a lot of rain. And, and my perspective of it is I, I, I'm always got my eye on how is it going to affect Tiger. And I think, John, you had mentioned that the temperature is going to be up in the 20s uh, Celsius, uh, which is good because if it was below 26 that. 26 tomorrow, 26 tomorrow, yeah. 22 on Friday, 26 and 29 on the weekend. Well, that works. That works really well, particularly in the rain at 26 and rainy. Like Tiger wants it hot. He wants it humid. That's the best. That increases his chances for his back not to seize up. So everything. And if he's going to be uh, involved in the comp in competing for this, things have to align properly from a weather perspective that don't fight against him. And, and, and uh, that's what we're that's what uh, I'm looking for as it relates to Tiger. But with due respect, Tiger isn't going to be in the competition, really. There's no reason to expect that. Those days are over. Well, I think you're right. I think expectation, you can't, you're, you're right. But, and I, I will always say this, you, you, things have to align properly for him to have a chance. And when you give him a chance, I still think he has the possibility of another major win. Really? Why well, I, I don't tell you. Yeah. Most truth. a lot of people don't. Well, they said that before 2019 as well that he was going to win another one. I did. I I said that. I didn't think he'd win another major. I, I won 2019, so anything I guess is possible. But I just don't think his game is ready. Well, I if he gets good ready. weather, it'll be a good indicator. If he gets good weather after the fact that he doesn't if he doesn't lock up in the in the rain and, mm -hmm. and or have to play close to 36 holes in the on on friday to make up for it you know because that's going to put a lot of stress on his 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 leg his back and yeah his... the interesting thing for me is that we have in scotty scheffler a a kind of a uh a tiger woods um feeling i do anyway about how good he is how well he's playing he is the best player in the world right now and i think by a mile zocal don't you agree I do agree. I do agree. And, and, and what is just so fascinating in, in, in Scotty Scheffler, like, uh, you know, prior to um, him winning the masters and that final round situation where he became overwhelmed and he said to his wife, I don't think I can do this. And then he went on and things worked out well, he wins the masters and now look at him now he's, you know, he, he, he has this ability where he doesn't have an ego um, he, he, he is able to stay present. His ball striking is superior and it really fluctuates on how well he puts, but you're right. I think he's by far the number one player in the world at the moment. And I think he's got probably the best chance to win this week again. To be the devil's advocate, Ian, uh, the fields he's been playing against on the PGA tour aren't as tough as they once were. Has that played a role in his success? Well, I, I think Scotty Scheffler is turning into the Tiger Woods, uh, you know, of this decade, if you want to call it. And it, his being that, um, you know, the level that he is playing at week in and week out. And Tiger talked about this all the time. He'd win with his B game, as he said, right? And that's the way Scotty Scheffler is. I mean, he might not win, but I mean, he's finishing second, third, 
top five every single week with an opportunity to win. And we watch how he loses these tournaments is because he just doesn't make those crucial putts, you know, on the last nine holes or the last day, but he still almost has a chance to win. And because he hits the ball so incredibly well, Tiger Woods, on the other hand, I think when we reflect back on this week, and I think Zoe can speak to this as well. One of the differentiating factors at Augusta National is when this golf course gets really, really firm, I believe this is when the experience comes into play. When it's soft, everybody's got a chance. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. when it's firm and fast, knowing where to hit it, you know, and how to, how to you know, position yourself on the golf course and not firing at flags becomes very, very important as this thing evolves and a huge asset to those guys that have played in those conditions. Leading that to Tiger Woods, something we don't talk about. Guys are talking about how far he's still hitting it, how solid he is. Tiger Woods does not cut the golf ball anywhere near like he used to. 